15, Mr. J. L. Pierce, my dear husband, this will inform you that we are all well and doing just fine. So for now, dear heart, I am now in Tulsa. We come in yesterday, myself and the children, are at BJ Starks. They are very glad to have us here, as you know that. We are dear friends, and D. Pierce will be due here about the last of the week en route for St. Louis, Missouri. He wants to visit Mr. A. Hinton, and I have two or three letters from, from your uncle since you've been gone. This influenced Dad to go, so I told him that if he wanted to go, that it was my pleasure for him to go. So, I don't know how many at all he changes so fast. And to he and I are anxious from here. You know you said that he wanted to be here for you before he left. And if you couldn't do without him helping you, that you could get whatever you liked of having from him. Now listen, dear. My father gave me $10 to send you, and I did intend to send it. But I find after I got there that Daisy hasn't got no job and is short of money. And this $10 that Dad Johnson gave me is all I have now. But Mr. Pierce and I are to start working next week that I can send you some money. But I thought that just for me to keep this $10 until I got some more. I am not right. And I know I have heartburn all the time. And you know that I can't feel good. So I'm going to get something for it today. I will be glad when you send for me. As I believe that a change of climate will add so much to my health. I am not sick. But I don't feel good. I think I will feel better when I start working. Dear, please write me real soon. So this is all from your dear wife, Miss J.L. Pierce. Address me at 1426 South Carson Street to Miss Ella Wright. I will get it, but don't write me in my name. For Miss Hayward would give Ella the letter unless it is in her name. So bye-bye.